Hi guys, we are starting a new series on the Dialogflow CX tutorial and in this chapter we are going to discuss about the overviews of what exactly comes into Dialogflow CX and in the subsequent chapters we will see about the intent entities, flow, states, handlers, uh, API, channel integration and all this thing, right? Okay, so before moving on, uh, just a simple request to everyone whoever watching this uh, contents or any of the content creators video, right, do subscribe to their channel. For my case, 92% are not subscribing to the channel. And if you find this video useful, if you're coming from Google search or to like, subscribe, and don't forget to give a thanks if you find this video useful, okay? So first of all, what is Dialogflow CX? Okay, so Dialogflow CX is again, uh, uh, one of the platform provided by Google. Uh, earlier, they used to provide the Dialogflow ES and this is Dialogflow CX, okay? And over here, uh, it is more related to or more compatible with the telecom services or telecom platforms. Okay, uh, I have already created a video on Dialogflow CX versus ES difference, so you can check that video uh, into the playlist. Okay, so what we have to do over here? So once you logged in, right? So this is the URL: uh, Dialogflow Cloud Google dot com CX and projects. So what you can do is, if it is your first project in uh, Google Dialogflow, either you can create a project, okay, or uh, so once you do a create a project, it will create a GCP account and it will create a project over there, and you have to enable the billing, okay, so that is the important thing over there. If you have already created, obviously you will see over here, I will just select one of the projects which I use for development uh, so that uh, the billing is enabled in this. Okay, so you, if you have created many projects in that, you will see over here. Otherwise, what you have to do is just create a project. You can do auto-generate and build your own. So this is something new they have added where it means that you can provide the FAQ URLs and all this thing. It will automatically pull the information and try to create the bot with those FAQ questions. But we are not going to do that first. We are going to use build your, our own. We will see auto-generate one also later on. Okay, so it will ask you for some information. Okay, so I will give the name as read the manual and I will select global as the location. Okay, uh, I will keep the English as a location and time zone I can change or let it be over there. Doesn't matter. Once I click create, what it will do is it will create a agent. Okay, so in a project you can have multiple agents over there. In Dialogflow ES, only one project can have one agent. Okay, by default, this is what you get: a default start flow, and that contains a start page. Okay, so this video is specifically about the overview, what we have, where we have the things, right? So over here, uh, Dialogflow divided the development into categories, right? One is the flow, and within the flow, you can have pages. Okay, so if I go over here, so within the flow, I can have page, right? So if something like uh, I create a new page and give a name as main menu, uh, it will create a routing. So what you say over here, uh, routing from this page to this page. Okay, so if user trigger default welcome intent, it will go to my page, which is mentioned over here. Okay. So this is like a, in a intent, uh, subsequent things that you can do uh, uh, for the particular journey, okay? So how can I explain? So let's say if I have to create uh, something like this, a service uh, intent and uh, uh, sales intent and something like that, right? So what I will do is we will create two intent, okay? So something like over here, uh, I will create intent and I will add pages over, uh, sorry, different uh, page or I can create a flow also, okay? Uh, so one flow will have their own journey. If you are create like that, this something like this and uh, uh, pages uh, like one page, second page, third page, fourth page and all this thing. So you can see the differences over here. You can see the flows, list of flows and list of page. Once you select any of the uh, flow, you will see list of the pages available. Uh, more in the overview, okay, so we do get something like intents, which is also into the dialog flow ES side entity same webhooks is to call any of the API route groups again, if there are certain flows which are common, let's say authentication one, right, 
and so you can put those into route group or FAQs like there are a list of FAQs that you support you can put that into the route group so then they have something called uh, data stores which is like connecting to the uh, vertex.ai where you can upload your uh, FAQ URLs, PDF, document and all those things it will parse it and uh, try to give you the responses right and generator is like uh, our chat GPT thing where uh, you give the prompt and it will try to generate the response uh, with its own NLP capabilities right uh, this is the area where we do the integrations with different platform right and this is the area where you can integrate with the github or you can have different versions like uh, environment like dev production qa and all those things ci cd is still in preview okay there are few templates they also provided like uh, if you want to uh, have the functionality of account balance right so these features they have address you want to collect address from the user so that they have if you want to collect alphanumeric for particular thing right uh, so those building blocks they have already created you can just uh, click on those and it will be started and added as a flow over here okay so that you can do uh, if it is required uh, uh, apart from the overview i think uh, you have to know something about the settings right so basically machine learning settings are there you can set to advanced NLU or standard NLU. This is the threshold level means confidence level, right? Uh, generative AI is over here. You can trigger and uh, create the details over here, data store details over here. Speech IVR, speech IVR do provide with something additional capabilities like enable the DTF and uh, over here enabling the bar gene, where it is the bar gene? Yeah, enable the bar gene. So this is specific to the telecom calls, right? When you integrate with any of the uh, voice platform okay and then rest of the things are the same what we get usually in dialog flow es like uh, uh, do you want to send uh, sms with uh, multi-model company this is kind of a uh, visual ivr uh, which we used to see uh, we have not used it yet but yeah definitely it is there and you can share among your uh, uh, different friends or uh, developer over there language which are there and definitely you can add more locale to particular language. So let's say it is the English you want to, uh, uh, what you say, allow uh, India accent or US accent or UK accent, right? So you can click on add and that will start appearing over here. Okay. Uh, security wise, again, uh, nothing major is there. If you have configured anything like a, a reduction or the information to be redact, right? So that you can configure over here and sent, uh, uh, sentiment analysis is by default you get uh, from each and every intern recognition so this is uh, discards uh, so this is the overview okay so not in the next video we are going to do is what we discuss right we are going to create sales service and what else transfer to agent let's say th this three intent and we will have three pages over here which will be doing that okay so that will be coming into the next video hopefully you like the video uh, give a like if you find it useful thank you have a nice day